So I am looking at uh, how animals are using the space out in the Hauraki Gulf, so all the big predators, whales, dolphins, sharks, what they're doing out there and what's important, what makes that area a, an important um, livelihood kind of area for them. There are elements that need to be there for animals to live, just like you and me. It needs food, it needs a um, good environment to raise its an um, babies and that kind of thing. And so what we're looking at is why, why the Hauraki Gulf is important. We look at environmental variables and bi biological variables. So is it the temperature stability that makes it a nice environment to raise the babies? Or is it uh, you know, good, good food sources? Is there lots of nice fish for the animals to be out and eating out there? The Hauraki Gulf is important. It has a high area. It's a high area of biodiversity. We've got a lot of large predators. And what that indicates is that it's a really healthy area for animals to breed and to live and exist. And so the problem is though, the Hauraki Gulf backs onto one of the largest cities in New Zealand, Auckland, and we have a lot of uh, human activities which potentially degrade that ecosystem. What we're finding though is that there are certain areas around maybe the back of Waiheke in the middle that are really important, that we're seeing lots of food and lots of production and lots of activity out there. So it's so inspiring being out there and seeing how amazing that area is and how little you know people do know that it's happening right outside their backyard.